Welcome to City Happenings, I'm Mayor David Black. The city's tree board members get hands-on experience planting trees. And we welcome the new Sarpy Chamber President. Our DARE officers get involved with more than just teaching DARE. We'll show you the event and let you hear from the organizing officer. City Happenings for the week of October 31st is next. Thanks, Mayor Black. Our tree board members got involved in planting trees at Walnut Creek to prove their point. We have an ongoing effort to try to get more trees in the city, and we had a lot of tree loss here in the campground, so we're trying to get that uh, put in and brought back up. We like to get a lot of shady areas. It takes a while to get uh, developed and stuff. And additionally, these are some of the new uh, disease-resistant elms, which of course were wiped out with the elm disease. So if we can get more of those growing, it'll be a lot better for the community and the state too. The city works to do most of the planting in forest, but uh, we in, we're kind of a lot of us are tree nuts, so getting out actually doing some planting it reduces some of our energies as well. So that's a good thing for us too. It creates more enthusiasm for us. The new technology with these grow bags is uh, really holds a lot of promise for increasing the growth and vigor of the trees. A lot of trees are planted by nurseries and things like that. They're still using the pots, and the roots circle around, and eventually they kill the tree early. So you get a lot of years invested in growing and it ends up dying on you. So if we have new technology that makes it grow better to start off with and improves the longevity, that's good. So when we see that sort of thing, it, it, it excites us. If we can get better growth out of the trees, uh, we can plant the smaller trees and get more bang for our buck. Because you get a lot, if you, it's a lot cheaper to buy two or three smaller trees than one bigger tree. And if you get the same amount of growth out of them and better longevity, it works out real well. And we're trying to incorporate some of this. We also have a tree nursery that we're developing and working on so we don't have to go out and buy this size trees all the time. So I'll give you more bang for our buck. We say congratulations to the newly named Sarpy Chamber of Commerce president. So how does it feel? Well, it's quite an honor. You know, that's the first thing I have to say. It's quite an honor to have this position. Uh, you know, I've been with the chamber for about two years in the role of membership development. And uh, that was a privilege to be able to get into people's offices, their place where they work, meet their staff, see their products. People are very proud of what they do in the workplace. And so that was an, always a privilege for me to be able to do that. This is just a role that will kind of enhance that. I still get to visit businesses, but to be their number one advocate um, in the business community. We want to, we want to be that. Um, we are pro-business and uh, Sarpy County is doing extremely well and we realize it's the people that are in Sarpy County that are making it that way. We had a vision here at the Chamber, especially the staff that we have now between Greg, myself and Anissa. Uh, we had a vision as to where we thought Sarpy County was going and the Chamber was going and it's a, in a very positive direction. And you know we do look at the hard economic times throughout the country but we are fortunate here in Sarpy County that uh, we haven't been hit by, you know, high unemployment rates and, um, you know, a, a lot of downturn in the economy as far as jobs. So we're fortunate in that regards. Uh, my role and uh, I think the Chamber's role is going to continue to enhance that. Advocacy is a big thing. Um, that's kind of when we stand behind businesses and promote them um, with a pro-business legislation. That's where we favor that. Um, we stand beside businesses when they're having tough times. We help them with marketing ideas, making connections, and we're there for them when they have their celebrations with their ribbon cuttings and their milestone celebrations. And then we, we lead in the forefront with um, our partnership with Sarpy County Economic Development. We want to attract new businesses to Sarpy County. So that role is kind of clear to us, and you know, we're behind you, with you, and in front of you at all times. I've lived in Sarpy County most of my adult life, and so that helped. Um, and having been with the Chamber, because I had not been in Chamber business before. I've been pretty much in sales and in corporate, so I wasn't really aware of what the, the function of a Chamber was. So having two years to really understand the workings of, of the Chamber of Commerce. It's the oldest business association that there is in the States. Um, so, yes, having those two years was definitely a plus. I don't think I could have done it without it. So. And I think, too, having been the membership person, people got to know me. Um, they appreciated, you know, what I brought to them for their business. And I think they're comfortable with me in the role. So, both of those combined, I think, have been positive. So, what's up with this? Junior high kids have a day off from school, yet they still show up? It's our Pride Club, which stands for Papillion Junior High Recognizes Involvement, Discipline, and Excellence. It's an activity for the kids to get together with one another outside the school environment. 
um, show a little bit of school spirit and just meet one another and have a good time. But it's a club that I kind of sponsor down here with Brent Holder, who's the eighth grade principal. He couldn't be here today because he had a prior engagement. But it's something that we sponsor and we just look at uh, getting the kids out of, the, out of the school, having a good time, showing school spirit. And it's really getting the kids involved um, in the school, um, in the activities. A lot of these kids probably don't, may not do sports, may not be in other, involved in other activities. So this is an activity that they can all get involved in. It's a wide range of bike riders here today, trust me. Well, as you can see, we get a lot of kids down here. So, And we even get their parents and we have some other school teachers that have uh, tagged along to ride too. They just enjoy it. Good time. I hope that everyone had a safe and fun Halloween. And please be aware of the current road construction in various parts of the city. Moving into November, I want to remind everyone of our annual Winter Wonderland. It happens Saturday, November 26th from 5 to 9 p.m. right in front of City Hall. You'll hear more information over the upcoming weeks. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching. Come out to Winter Wonderland. It happens in front of City Hall, 122 East 3rd Street on Saturday, November 26th from 5 to 9 p.m. There's live music, hot chocolate, freshly popped popcorn, free carriage rides, and Santa and Mrs. Claus. Mayor David Black turns on the lights at 6. Enjoy stories with Mrs. Claus at Sump Memorial Library. Downtown stores have extended their hours and will have special activities. Winter Wonderland, a papillion tradition you won't want to miss.